So I've removed the vessel and yeah, I've actually stripped this and um, I've not really found an awful lot wrong. This is the front accumulator. Now this is the one that I had for, no, six pumps I think before the light came on. So I didn't actually do a pressure test. In all honesty, I didn't really think it was worth it. Um, maybe I was wrong there, I don't know. Maybe you guys can steer me. But um, I got the equipment. I bought a couple of gauges up there and I've, I've got a brake pipe and I've got the adapters that I've made up, etc. But I just kind of thought, if I've got four or five pumps on the accumulator um, as pressure when the engine switched off, then of course, there's definitely going to be an issue somewhere, isn't there? Uh, either the spring inside here is no good or this itself is no good so interestingly when i looked from under the car this didn't look that old and now that i've taken it off it actually doesn't look that old but but i don't know i'm just not sure uh, i think it uh, as we all know you can spray something with a bit of silver paint and make it look a million dollars so i'm probably yeah i'm going to replace that and in all honesty i'm probably going to replace the back one as well but um, I'm going to go to this first of all. Uh, now, I don't know whether you guys, you probably all knew this. I'm quite excited about this, but you probably all knew this anyway. If you take the switch apart, as I've done here, this end doubles as a, uh, a tool for taking that out huh? with an inch spanner um, on the end. Who knew, eh? I bet everyone knew that aspect. But anyway, um, yeah, I did put a, uh, a request on the website for uh, the loan of a tool. And Chris, thanks Chris, he's uh, come up with the goods. And yeah, he's going to make a, or send me a lump of this one inch steel. But yeah, if you, get, if you get stuck, that gets these off. So anyway, oh, there we go. I'm going to replace that diaphragm as well, actually, in the switch. Because the back switch isn't working at all, so I've got to strip that off next, I think, and see what's what. But anyway, um, yes, I took this apart, and I've already taken this apart in true Blue Peter fashion. There's one we did earlier. So I took the lid off, found a little bolt that fits in here, and I just popped this out. Actually took the whole thing apart. Um, found quite a lot of Kind of, there we are. It's kind of like quite a lot of gunk inside here, and also quite a lot of gunk um, on the reverse side of this washer. So as you can see, it's it's corrosion corroded. I'm probably going to replace that as well. I think you can get that corrosion. I'm sure water. This is aluminium. Inside here, I've taken the little one-way valve apart and the spring, etc. And it all looks in good nick, to be honest. The little plunger down the bottom, yeah, it all looks in pretty good order. Lots of gunk in there, rubbish. Um, pulled the whole thing out. If I can get that out, no, I'm probably gonna not be able to get that out now. I'll put it back in. But anyway, pulled the whole lot out, pulled this out, and the, yeah, just cleaned it all out. I'm going to re reseal it. I was chatting with a really, really nice chap down on Hayling Island um, a couple of days ago. Strangely enough, we were down there on holiday and uh, this guy has his own repair shop on, on the Isle of Wight. It's a brilliant place and he's a really nice chap as well. Gave me a lot of information. He was saying, just replace this, the valve body. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I've been an engineer for years and this valve body to me looks perfectly serviceable. I'm going to paint it, of course, make it look a bit nice. Although you will never see it, will you? But I'll know it looks nice. Uh, I'm going to put new seals in it, um, and then, yeah, basically put it all back together with a new one of these. I'm pretty sure I'm going to replace that, yeah, because I didn't find anything wrong inside here. The big spring in the bottom, which is actually bigger than a valve spring on a Mini, I think, but anyway, yeah, that's all right. So I think the reason I only had four pushes uh, before the light came on, or six, or whatever it was, um, yeah, I've got this far, so I'm going to replace it. It doesn't look that new. It looks like someone's painted it. 
so I'm not going to mess around. And I'm probably going to do the back one as well. That's it for now.